Hello, my graceful groceries. It's your boy, Zionic Blader, and today we will be comparing Darkus Hydrus Ultra from Bakugan Battle Planet with its Season 2 counterpart from Armored Alliance. We will be comparing them in four categories. Their cores, their base stats and effects, their evolutions, and their use in decks. I will say an abbreviation of the season they're a part of when talking about them. So, Darkus Hydrus Ultra from Battle Planet will be Darkus Hydrus Ultra BP, and Darkus Hydrus Ultra from Armored Alliance will be Darkus Hydrus Ultra AA. But enough talk, let's figure out which Darkus Hydrus Ultra is the best. Category 1 The Cores. Darkus Hydrus Ultra BP has a Fire Fist and Green Fist core lineup. Fire Fists are the best damage boosting cores which is great, and Green Fists are able to help with gear reduction which is also great. Darkus Hydrus Ultra AA has a Green Fist and Shield core lineup. Both of these cores are able to help with gear reduction which is good, however that benefit is only wanted when the Bakugan has a core that's really good and then a second core that's a Shield or Fist like with Chaos Trox Ultra AA and Aqua's Hydrus core AA. Having both cores in its lineup is bad, as neither are any good with damage or B power boosting gains except for maybe the plus 400 faction specific shield cores, but the only Bakugan that really makes use of it is Pyrus Dragonoid Ultra AA, and that's only because it has a 900 base B power printed on it. So because Darkest Hydrus Ultra BP has a Fire Fist core, it gets the win for Category 1. Category 2, Base Stats and Effects. Darkus Hydrus Ultra's 800 B power made it one of the strongest Bakugan when it first came out. On a plus 253 Fire Fist, it was 1050 B power which was great back in the day. To put it into perspective, 1050 back then is like 1350 now. As the 1050 B power lost its luster, it was the damage that would become the most popular stat for Darkus Hydrus Ultra. On a plus 6 Fire Fist, plus its effect of gaining 3 damage on a Fire Fist, Darkus Hydrus Ultra BP would be 10 damage, which was good for those highest damage wins plays back in the day, and it's still pretty solid even today. Darkus Hydrus Ultra AA is a vanilla with a stat line of 604. With its native cores, it doesn't really amount to anything good. Obviously, Category 2 goes to Darkus Hydrus Ultra BP. Category 3 Evolutions. Darkus Hydrus Ultra BP has a 3 cost hyper evolution. Its base stats increase to 1003 which was solid at the time and its effect gets a buff giving you 5 damage and shadow strike when on a fire fist core. Darkus Hydrus Ultra BP was very popular in fury decks due to its base stats and base form. Because of that a 3 cost seemed pretty pricey considering maxing out the B power with native cores is only 200 B power more than base and maxing out damage was only 4 more than base. So the cost for the buff it got wasn't really worth it to many brawlers. In my personal experience, I can tell you that many times I would end up not evolving Darkus Hydrus Ultra because I would rather spend my energy on action cards instead since they gave me more bang for my energy. Darkus Hydrus Ultra AA has a hyper evolution as well. Its stats are nothing special, even being dwarfed by Bakugan in their base forms. Even though it has a Shadow Strike effect and can be played for free due to Rapid Fire, because the stats are so weak, it's not worth using, and in fact takes up space worse than Hyper Darkus Hydrus Ultra BP because you would rather use a different Bakugan altogether. Category 3 goes to Darkus Hydrus Ultra BP. Category 4 Use in Dex. As mentioned before, Darkus Hydrus Ultra BP saw use early on in Fury decks because of its Darkus faction and solid base stats. Later on, as 1050 became less ideal, it saw use in highest damage win situations due to its high damage when on a Fire Fist. Though nowadays, Darkus Hydrus Ultra BP has been outclassed due to other Bakugan coming out with higher damage, not only in its native faction, but also in factions that were never known for having high damage in the first place. Unlike its Battle Planet predecessor, Darkus Hydrus Ultra AA was never really worth using in a deck. Its poor base stats and cores made it lackluster, and with Darkus Nilius Core AA being a thing, Darkus Hydrus Ultra AA doesn't even have a place in a rapid fire deck. Darkus Hydrus Ultra BP had an instance of usability, and to be fair, its current damage right now, while not ideal, gives it a fighting chance if you're that stubborn to use it while Darkus Hydrus Ultra AA was never worth it to begin with. Because of that, 
Darkus Hydrus Ultra claims Category 4. Yeah, that was a clean sweep, which is sad because usually you expect the newer Bakugan to be the one that does the sweep, not the older one. Heck, an evolution that could be played for free lost to an evolution that many see as not worth it for the games, which shows you how bad Darkus Hydrus Ultra AA is, meaning Darkus Hydrus Ultra BP is the better Bakugan. But anyways, do you agree or disagree with my choice? Let me know in the comments section below. Also hit the like button, or don't, I'm not the boss of you, but be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload. Until next time, see ya.